Hey everyone, Gamer here. Listen, some of you might not know, but I am a long player of Phase Star Universe, or the Phase Star Saga in general. And in all my years of playing Phase Star, I have never seen the game rise to this kind of level, this kind of depth, and this kind of gameplay. So please hear me out as this is my review of Phase Star Online 2 New Genesis on a closed beta. As for complaints, I don't have many, but the complaints I do have is very brief, so I'll keep this short. In terms of a problem, the map icons for friends or player party members can be a bit small. If that can be bigger, that would be very fine and uh, useful in the future. Also, let's not make enemies too much of a sponge. Yes, I get it. They can be difficult at times at certain levels, especially if you are a low level and they're high level. But please, make it to where we can at least kill them a little bit easier than in the beta. The beta I understand, you know, when we're starting off. But don't make it too difficult to the point where we can't kill them. Another complaint I have is, it's nothing really too big. But night can last a little too long. So, I have a balance between the night and day cycle. You know, I like the weather effects and all that, but please, have some kind of balance between the two. As for rendering characters, I'm sure it can be fixed in the future, considering this is a beta, but rendering characters and people can take a bit of a while, depending on the region or people. So if that can be fixed too, that's fine. But that's all the complaints I have for the uh, beta so far. Now let's get into some good points here because there's a lot to talk about. Now, right off the bat, you can just tell the game is beautiful. The game is just filled with life. It's filled with so much breathed into it. Like, you can get lost for hours in this game. Not just this open world, but every little detail counts. From when you encounter enemies, from when you walk around to trains, where you go to different regions, and just the way everything flows in the game. It's so beautiful. Like, you can tell the developers really worked hard on this. They put their all into this, and the characters look amazing. Everyone in this game it, it just flows so nicely another thing is the gameplay is fluid amazing and fast now I've played as I said I've played a lot of main star games and fast but nothing comes close to this just the way that combat acts and the way you encounter your punches into an enemy it just feels so natural it feels amazing it doesn't feel stiff, it doesn't feel like, you know, you're struggling to make a combo. It actually feels nice. Affixing fixing is no longer a tedious process. Now all you need to do to add fix is 10 of the same capsules and put it onto a weapon and you're good to go. No problems, no difficulties, no going through all kinds of mess or whatever just to do it. You can just put those on your weapons. 
augmenting is now easier. Also, bosses now have health bars. Now, I don't know if that's ever been a thing in old PSU or Panstar Saga series, but bosses now have health bars. And that's wonderful. Now you can tell when you're dying. And character creation in the very start is beautiful. It's every detail you can imagine. From tongue to facial expressions to hair length and even skin color. They've made it more detailed than ever before. My overall experience with Painstar Online 2 New Genesis Beta was mind boggling. It was crazy. It was wonderful. It was a good experience. Like, I want to play more of the game. And it's going to be hard to go back to Gangster Online 2. PSO 2 New Genesis is more fluid in terms of gameplay. The overall aspect is huge and separates a learning curve from the previous entries of the series. The graphical update not only looks good, but still gives it that Gangster feel. So, yes, Gangster Online 2 New Genesis is the boost that PSO 2 really needed. Thank you for watching.